All right. So the second pathway we're going to talk about now is the alternative pathway. So let's assume that uh, you don't have the previously recognized antigen and no antibodies formed for it, but you still need to remove the pathogen as quickly as possible. So in this way, it, uh, the alternative pathway will be a part of the innate uh, immunity. So uh, let's draw again. First, you will have the bacteria. And all gram-negative bacteria have something in common. All of them have an outer lipid membrane. And on its outer lipid membrane, they have something called an endotoxin. Some people use the other term LPS, which stands for lipopolysaccharide. So, this time we won't need an antibody, as mentioned. But how should we activate the, uh, this alternative pathway? We will have in our circulation so, some C3 that is already cleaved into C3B. So what will happen now is that this, this circulating C3B will come and uh, bind to the LPS. Once it has been bound to it, another factor rises up called factor D. The factor D will cleave another protein called factor B. Factor B will be divided into BB and BA. As you see, we differentiate them by small and big letter. So once it has been bonded to it, C3B together with BB will form an enzyme. And it's exactly the same enzyme that was used in classical pathway, but it's just other components. The enzyme is C3 convertase. C3 convertase, as you remember from the classical, will form C3. So another C3B will come and bind to it. So now you will have a complex of C3B, BB, and C3B. These together will form the other enzyme complex, as in co classical pathway, called C3, uh, C5 convertase. The C5 convertase will now continue as MAC, and it's exactly the same pathway as the classical. That's why we call the MAC system the co final common pathway, because this will be found in all three of the pathways. So, uh, what else do we need to talk about is what regulates this pathway. There is actually something that regulates it. There will be a protein called properdine. Properdine, the function of it is to combine together BB together with C3B, the initial parts. It will combine them together and uh, once it has done this, this facilitates, uh, facilitates the induction of this pathway. But there has to be a counterbalance and what counteracts this process will be another protein, two other proteins called factor H and factor I. Factor H will hold together these complex, uh, this uh, C3B, BB together, while I will cleave it constantly. So there will there won't be any overstimulation or understimulation of this alternative pathway. And this is about it, about this pathway. So let's continue in the next video with the lactin pathway.